Welcome back to a new episode about super global files. Working with files in PHP is actually easier than you might think. A PHP script can be used with an HTML form to allow users to upload files to the server. There are two ways how you could upload files. The first way is uploading it to the root. So let me add it as a comment. How to upload files. And the first one is upload it to the root. And the second one is directly to the database. So basically when you want to upload it to the root, you're uploading it to a temporary directory and then you have to relocate it to a target destination with a PHP script that we will be creating. And you can upload it directly to the database, but we won't be doing that since we haven't worked with databases. So I will be focusing on uploading it to the root. So what we want to do is to upload images of any types, so JPEG, PNG, and we even want to upload PDFs or text files or any type of file. It really depends what you want your users to allow to upload. So what we need to do in order to upload files is to work in a basic HTML form. And what I want to do is start totally from scratch. So the first part, well, this episode, will be setting up the form and the second part will be functionality of the form. In the previous episodes, we already worked with forms. So let's create a new one. Outside our PHP tags, write form, hit tab, and we have an action. So I already created a folder in my Super Globals folder called uploads, and the action needs to be upload.php, and we will be creating this file. We need to add another parameter, and we want to give our form a method, and the method is equal to post. And it needs to be equal to post whenever you want to upload files. So we need to add one more, and this is probably a parameter that you haven't heard before, and it's called enc type. So let's type enc, enc, type, and it needs to be set equal, well, in double quotes, to multipart forward slash form data. So the enc type multipart form data must be included, otherwise the file upload will not work. And what this basically does is it specifies how the form data should be encoded. Let me add it in the comment section as well. So enc type multidata form specifies how the form data should be encoded. I think it's pretty important for you to know what it actually means rather than writing it down. So inside our form, we need to create input tags. So let's type input, the type, and since we want to upload, is equal to file. And let's give it a name and set it equal to file as well. So let's refresh this page. And you can see that we're getting a button to upload files from our computer. We also need to create a button inside our form. So let's type button, hit tab, and the type needs to be equal to submit. And inside our button tags, let's type submit. So let's save it, refresh it, and you can see that we're getting a submit button as well. So what our goal is whenever an image is selected and the user clicks on the submit button, the image will be uploaded to the folder uploads. So what we need to do in our uploads folder is right click on it, create a new file and call it upload.php. We don't need it for now, so let's close it. And before we continue on, I want to show you a couple of variables that will grab specific data of the file. And these are pre-built inside the super global. So let's go back to our PHP tags and let's echo out a new variable called name and set it equal to the super global files and follow it by a set of brackets. Inside our brackets, we want to write down single quotes and we want to pass in the file that is passed. And since our type of the input field is equal to file, we need to write down file. And remember, a super global is an associative array. And since this is stored as an associative array, we need to use another set of brackets. So next to our, well, first set of brackets, let's add new ones. And what we need to do right inside of the second set of brackets is to write down the name. So in our case, it's name because in our case, the name of our input field is equal to file. 
I hope this makes sense. So the first one is file, which makes sense because the type is equal to file, but it needs to see from where file is coming. So the name, which is also equal to file, and this will actually show us the file name of the file that we just uploaded or we are going to upload. Uh, before we continue on, we need to change our action to files.php. So let's save it, continue. Well, let me go back to my files. Let's choose the file again. Let's submit it. And you can see the name of the image that I actually just chose. And we can also see the type of the image or document that is being uploaded. So let's copy paste our echo. Let's change the variable to type. And let's change the second set of brackets to type as well. Let's save it, submit it. Well, we need to choose our image again. Let's submit it. And you can see that the file is JPEG. So let's add a break. And let's do the same thing for the type. Let's refresh it. And you can see it's an image and the type is JPEG. We can find the temporary location of a file. So let's copy paste it again and change the variable name to TMP underscore location. And the type is also equal to TMP underscore name. So let's save it, refresh the browser again. And you can see that the image is stored in, well, my application inside XAMPP, XAMPP files, and inside a folder called temp. And the last one that I want to show you is called the error. So let's replace the variable with error and the type with error as well. Save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that we're getting a zero back, which basically means that we're not having an error right now. But if there is an error processing the form, the application will return a one. Thank you for watching this episode about the file super global. In the next episode, which will be a part two of this video, we will be continuing on the PHP script that we are going to write in order to make it actually work. So we will do some validations before a user can upload a file. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.